Hi guys, um, I'm a little early here and uh, for some reason the scheduled live stream, I don't know what was up with that, that didn't seem to uh, want to get started. So I'm going to just do it the regular way and I don't know if you can see here, I put my camera so uh, I was hoping you could see how, um, how uh, snow it is outside, but I don't think you can. So I'll turn my lights on again. All right, so um, I am going to uh, do a little chat here, and uh, you'll be able to uh, use the live chat out here. So I'll just uh, type in something. I am welcome. I know I'm a little early, so um, please... Um, uh, type, type in where you are watching from. Hi, hey. Ah, oh, hey, KR from Belgium. Welcome, welcome. You're my first one. How fun is that? Um, so uh, we will just uh, wait until um, everybody gets online. And in the meantime, um, I'm just going to flip down the black thing here and turn the camera. I just don't want anybody getting seasick. And then we'll see if I can... Pop in. Hi. Hi, KR. Welcome from Belgium. I have been to Belgium once, um, many years ago when I still lived in Denmark. Um, we went um, uh, for a little uh, fall, fall trip with my daughter. I think she was like seven years old then, and she still remembers uh, very fondly that uh, we were in the Ardennes, and, um, and uh, we did like a week, and I mean, the, we were blown away by the beauty because it was fall and all the colors and we had beautiful weather and um, the food was fantastic. I'm just going to say hi, KR. So anyway, um, I'm hoping that um, we get some more viewers and uh, you were curious. So uh, soon I will reveal what we're going to be doing here other than chit chatting. Um, so um, let's uh, just... Uh, give you a little tour. I can turn the camera a little bit here um, of my studio. I mean, I haven't really picked up or anything. And my uh, artwork on my walls is always kind of like a mess in my own house because, you know, I grab paintings um, as I need them for the various and sundry galleries that I'm in. So you can see some of them. And underneath I have here, you can see I have my little painting that I just uh, posted not a few days ago of the sardines and this is actually where I photograph my artwork because I have a north window and uh, and uh, then I have this ugly bulb up in the ceiling which is daylight and this wall is the best place for me to photograph my artwork so let's see it's 10 o'clock oh and I bumped the camera that's what I'm not supposed to do um so uh, let's see what um, what else. Oh, thank you. You're watching all my videos. I'm, you know, I was wondering if I could read the text from here because you know, I have my computer back there and I'm sitting here. Yeah, I did a tour uh, just recently. I filmed just a little update on what it looks like in my uh, studio. So um, anyway... I will um, get started. Um, Heidi. Oh, hi, Heidi. Yeah, so KR, that's Heidi. So that's nice to know. Heidi is such a pretty name. Um, and um, I was supposed to teach a class this morning in Reno, Nevada, which is about a half hour's drive from my home here in Truckee, California. Um, and um, what... Uh, 
what happened is that, I mean, we have a snowstorm that started Friday night and it's still snowing. And so far we've had um, three feet of snow here, at least at my house. And it's, I was actually, um, so I can't, you know, I don't, I don't want to drive in those circumstances. And then with the whole Corona virus um, scare um, I, and my students, and myself being over 65 and our governor here in California, just uh, suggesting that uh, older citizens and citizens that are um, comp has compromised health uh, should probably stay out of the public as much as possible just for safety. So that's what I'm doing. Um, other than, I mean, the weather is like the main reason. So anyway, um, I will get started. And um, I think this video, I can do it so that uh, it's, uh, it's uh, viewable afterwards. And I have a few links I want to throw in and stuff like that. So I will reveal what we're going to be painting. So now I'm going to turn my um, camera down uh, so that I can film where I paint. So I'm going to do the blackout again so I don't make anybody seasick. And then we're going to switch it around. like this. I think it should be good now. Let's take a look, see what we're filming. Yes, indeed, there it is. And it just needs to uh, focus a little bit. Now with this camera that I'm using here, I don't have um, the option of um, zooming in. So, and I'm gonna adjust the light a little bit there. I think that's better. So you won't really, I mean, the pencil sketch is very, faint because I never like to have really hard edges. But what I have sketched out is this flame lily. It's from a picture I took on my safari in Africa. And um, I, I really uh, like that. And actually last time, last Monday morning in our watercolor class, uh, we sketched a bunch of fire lilies, uh, no, flame lilies, sorry, that's what they're called, flame lilies. And then we put plastic wrap on after we we masked out all the flame lilies and a few of the leaves and a few of the stems. And then we wet the whole thing and we put um, some uh, watercolor on, mainly yellows and blues. And then I threw in a few reds, a couple of spots to kind of indicate maybe there's some more flame lilies in the background. Um, as you can see here, there are more flame lilies in the background. Um, so uh, we masked those out first, then waited for the masking fluid to dry, then we wet the whole page, and then um, we uh, put uh, transparent yellow, uh, I think we used cobalt blue and um, Antwerp blue, and then a little bit of um, quinacridone red. And while it was wet, I took a couple of pieces of plastic wrap and put it on top and kind of moved it around and pressed it down so that it formed all these patterns you can see here. So that's going to form the background. Um, so, you know, you could do that in a project if you like. But today I'm just going to show how to paint the flame lily itself. And I'm going to try and see if I can maybe put the arm down a little bit more so that it's a little closer there. And hopefully that'll work. Um, and then we are going to um, paint the flame lily there. And for just a second, I'm going to try and turn this light off and see if that's actually better. No, it's not. It's not better. There. I want to have a little bit more light. All righty. Well, this is an experiment. So we'll, we'll go with the flow as we have to these days. And uh, I will do some more uh, live streams now because a lot of people around the world are kind of housebound. And maybe they're anxious and nervous, all this uncertainty, you know, uncertainty is probably one of the hardest things to deal with. 
Um, however, I find that us artists, we have an advantage because we have our art. And that is kind of a solitary um, pursuit in many ways. So we can maybe deal with it a little bit better. Um, but still, uh, it's anytime you're told that you can't do something, that's always worse than if you decide yourself. Um, so anyway, um, I just sprayed my watercolors and here's my palette. I have a, a little bit of Antwerp and yellow left here in the, in the wells that were pretty clean. And since I'll be using that for the foliage, um, I just left it. But then, you know, I sprayed my colors as I always do. And I got my um, brushes laid out here. I have my, you know, my spray bottle, of course, is my very important part. And then I have my uh, water containers here. Maybe I can move the camera a little bit so you don't see my mess over there, but see more of this. That's better. All right. Um, so I am going to, I think the easiest will be if we just paint the green first. How about that? Let's paint the green first. And uh, let's, let me show you again. Here is, here is the, maybe I can put it up here so you can see a little bit anyway. Move that away. Maybe I can move that away just so that you can see. There, that's better, right? And if it isn't, let me know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some colors out. And I already got my a little bit of the Antwerp and the yellow, which I'm using transparent yellow. So I'm going to get a little bit more out. Transparent yellow. Let's put some over here. And I'll put some over here too, because, you know, I'm going to use it in the flowers too. So... Let's put some of that in here too, so we have some clean. You know how it is with yellow, it gets dirty right away. Okay, so good enough. Let's rinse that out. Wipe my brush, rinse again, wipe my brush, rinse again. You know how it goes. That's how it is there. And then let's get, I'll get a little bit of the um, cobalt blue to just, that might be good for for some of the greens and then rinse my brush again. And then I need more of the Antwerp blue. So I'm gonna get some of that out here. And I'm gonna get an extra little puddle here. I would like to have backup. Um, so you see, they create beautiful greens. You can see that in my, my dirty water here. Take this little gel pen, put that away. Um, now, if you'd like to uh, paint this after I'm done with this video, I will um, I will put the drawing, the sketch up on my website or over on that page that's called Eva's Tips and Tricks. I have a whole bunch over on the right hand side, a whole bunch of sketches that are downloadable for you to paint along and they all go with the uh, various uh, YouTube videos that I have published over the years. Um, so um, I'll, I'll put this one up too. And I actually also uh, still need to put the elephant up that I painted the other day. Um, and uh, so while I'm getting my colors out, I also wanna get my quinacridone red out for the flowers later on. So I'll get some of that out. And I can put a little bit maybe over here just, that can also be used to tone down the green, you know, red and green. Yeah, uh, complementary colors. You can see that. See how my green almost uh, immediately, you know, got like now it's kind of like an olive green instead of that bright green. Okie dokie. So let's see here. I think I want to take a smaller brush because I want to. Uh, I think the easiest is if we start with some of the foliage. So let's just start with something easy. Put some water inside here that stem here or leaf and stem and then it goes like this and like this there you go oh hi robin 
from Reno and Vicky. And I'm glad that uh, you said that that was better. Thanks, Vicky. So Vicky is also from Reno. She's actually in my Monday class. Um, so hi, Vicky. I know you're in the middle of moving and all that stuff. So you still found a little time to tune in. I really appreciate that. All righty. So let's put a little bit. I have kind of a dirty yellow over here that's already a little bit green. Let's uh, just try and dab that in just so we can get a little color on here. And uh, we haven't decided a light source yet, but why don't I go with my standard? It's going to come from the left-hand corner. That's that's like my tried and true. And now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the cobalt blue actually down here because this part of the leaf is like, you know, towards the edge of the picture. So I don't may maybe want that too, too bright. So let's just put a little bit of color in. And I'm going to try and do this in a somewhat loose style. That's my goal. You know how it doesn't always work out like that. But that's that's my intention. I'm going to let that be my intention. So here we are. And, yeah, I'm testing out. I mean, I have tried it once before, and I was successful. That was just a little short test. And then I tried it. I almost exactly a year ago for the another Monday morning class. Remember, Vicky, um, where I couldn't come to class for one reason or another. I can't remember what it was, um, but I couldn't get it to work when I had it set up with a scheduling tool. And uh, now I know one of the things I did wrong was I used the Safari browser and that does not support live streaming. Still not. I just checked it last yesterday. I worked half of the day yesterday. I spent on um, trying to um, figure out my setup, my lighting, and if you know how to go live and all this stuff. And uh, and so I went online and checked, and there it said, "Yeah, so, you know, Safari still doesn't support it." I don't know why. Anyway, maybe they'll change. Now, because I think there'll be a lot of live streams going on in the next few weeks with us uh, being more uh, housebound. Hey, Anne, welcome another re-night. And you're from my uh, class. Um, one of my classes, uh, you're taking classes with me at the TMCC. I'm hoping some more of my TMCC students will show up. Um, otherwise, I'm, I, I think, I'm pretty sure um, that uh, this will, uh, you know, I can, this will be saved. And so I can, uh, you can, you can uh, watch it later. And so I'm going to try very slowly because this camera has to, uh, you know, focus can you see how I painted that? And I'm just going to leave it like that for now, I think. Well, you know, every time I say that and then I don't, <laughs> um, I'm going to take my credit card. You know how I cut my credit cards in two or my room keys or whatever. I don't know what this is. I think it was Ann Taylor card or something. Who knows? Um, and then I might just scrape in a little bit of a vein here. And I'm not going to do it the whole way through, just, you know, a couple of places like that. I think that can look good. And again, I'm going to hold it up that you can maybe, 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 maybe see it. If you may little, you don't mess with the little camera here. It gets all confused on the, there. Yeah, that's the thing about these cameras. I mean, I'm used to using my other camera, my Sony Handycam, and they're already, I mean, it's, you know, have it zoomed in and stuff. Anyway, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to do the best we can. Let's do this one. So um, as I was mentioning um, earlier, when Heidi was here by her lonesome self from Belgium with me, um, I, uh, I will uh, down... I will uh, upload, I guess it's called, so you can download uh, my sketch. And I'll do that on my um, website. Um, you might, some of you have probably been in there already. I have on my page, on my Eva Nichols, no, not Eva Nichols. It's called beautyonlocation.com. Um, 
I have one that uh, one page that's called Eva's Tips and Tricks, I think it's called. So I'm just wetting this stem here. And then, um, yeah, I'm just gonna wet that one. Um, and over on the right-hand side on that page that's called Eva's Tips and Tricks, I have a whole bunch of um, tracings that you can download and all of them have a YouTube video that goes with it. So you can get the tracing and you can then watch the video and that way you can paint it. Uh, and I did quite a while ago, I, um, so I'm just putting in that transparent yellow in the wet wash. And now I'm putting in the Antwerp blue. And if I think it gets a little too bright, I might rinse it out and then I might dip into my cobalt blue and do some of that also. Anyway, so all these um, tracings, they are arranged uh, by alphabet. So, and I will get this one in today after I've done this video, I'll get it in. I was, you know, first of all, I was supposed to teach my class, my Monday morning class at Sierra Canyon in Reno. A word I more like it, but I think it's technically it's Reno now. Um, and because of the snow, still coming down really heavily and the snowplow has not been on my road yet. Um, I had to cancel that class. And then this afternoon, I was actually supposed to um, uh, go to Reno. And that's, you know, I had a schedule so that I could go straight from my class to the uh, infusion center to get my monthly infusion for my... Um, for my hives and uh, I, I'm not gonna be on the roads in this kind of weather, so I just rescheduled. Okay, well, yeah, Heidi, I, I know that uh, in Belgium, you're getting close to dinner time, but you know what, um, if you uh, have to run, then um, it should be up, you know, so you can, for, for, for viewing also after I'm done. And, um, and you should be able to uh, watch it later whenever it's good for you. So um, now I painted that one in. Hope you can see that. So I'm just doing it my usual style, wet into wet, letting the, the yellows and the blues run into each other. And uh, if I feel that, you know, maybe for instance here, uh, it's still a little damp, I damped, into a little bit of the red, just to make it a little darker right here and tone it down. And again, I'm not, you know, I'm not going for hyper realism. So as I always like to say, it's my flame lily, so I can do whatever I like, right? Okay, so let's get, there's, um, there's a leaf here and I'm just gonna let that go off the page and I'm just kind of flicking like that. I don't know, can you see the wetness? I don't know if you can here, there. And I'm um, gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go in with some of that little bit dirty yellow one, turn it around so that it's easier for me to put the strokes in. And um, I'm gonna start out with the Antwerp here. A little bit darker. And maybe here. And then I'm gonna rinse my brush out and I'm gonna do some of the cobalt blue. And it's going over here with that thing. So I want it a little lighter and I'm probably gonna darken that other thing. A Little bit more of the yellow to make it more green. And then mix it out. And I don't mind if there's a little bit of yellow showing there. 
And then I'm going to go back into that red because I want to darken here. Um, and a little bit more maybe of the end whip. I wanted to darken it there. And you know what? This is dry now. I can darken a little bit right there. Right here. Because this leaf is coming out from there. All right. I kind of like this. And then while I'm at darkening, hmm, I don't know if it's wise, but heck, I'm going to go out on a limb here. And I'm going to try and darken this one a little bit. Because that will also be darker underneath there. You know, things are casting shadows. If you look at the reference here, there's lots of sh cast shadows everywhere. So, all right. And then I'm going to kind of hold, hold like this. And then with my dot bottle, I'm just going to spray in a little bit here. Because I wanted to fuss out up here. You know, I'm trying to be loose, folks. Trying to be loose. Loosey goosey. And then let's just, uh, maybe I can even splatter in a little bit. I just think that'll be nice. I don't want all that white in the background. And I don't know if I really want to paint it. I'm not so sure. Just leave it. It's nice to have some white too. No, I don't leave enough white in my paintings, I feel. All right. Yes, uh, Heidi, I just saw your message. Yeah, I mean, uh, or your little thing. Yeah, um, what we're painting here, that is the flame lily, and it is exactly, I wrote it on my Facebook page uh, that I was going to do this video, and uh, the, it is the um, it is uh, the uh, national flower of Zimbabwe, where I was just. Uh, oh, uh, so it sounds like, uh, Heidi, from Belgium, that you have been to Zimbabwe, you know, also. Did you see my um, did you see my little uh, um, vi video I did? It's up on my website under art and travel, and on that um, on that uh, playlist, uh, I put together about twenty minutes of my video clips. So I'm just going to go into the flower here and put that little bit of green, and it's quite light. That's here. Um, yeah, so that's all my video clips from my recent safari trip to Africa. All right. And that, that I can actually also just extend here, maybe a little bit more of a yellow down here. There's this stamen, I think it is. There. A little bit darker. Yeah. So got that in and um, we can uh, get the rest of the leaves in. Now I'm going to go to my bigger brush. I'm going to try and use my dirty water so you can see better. Let's get this leaf in. Goes down here and just like that. Like this, and then I want to do it a little darker, dip into both of my blues, both the cobalt and the Antwerp. A little bit more Antwerp here, it's going to be darker. There. And then I'm going to pick it up, just let it run a little bit. And rinse my brush. A little, little lighter there. And uh, I'll just let that sink in for a little bit. And then in the meantime, I'm just going to grab this one again. I don't know if all of you saw this, but um, in class on Mon last Monday, we, um, we uh, massed in a bunch of the flame lilies um, and then after the masking was dried, we wet the whole paper and we ran in some transparent yellow, some cobalt blue, I think, and uh, Antwerp blue, wet into wet and threw in a few reds 
two, and then we put plastic wrap on. And uh, and uh, I just uh, took off the plastic wrap and the masking, just so those that are from my Monday class, they can see that that's what it looks like. But then my, I'm just doing the demo of the flame lily on this separate piece. Um, so anyway, that's one way of doing the background. Here, I wanna also spray in a little bit more and get this one to uh, hopefully um, spread out. And I think it's time for me to get some more of the uh, Antwerp blue. I'm kind of running out down here. I, I do have a puddle there, but there we have it. And then just clean it up a little bit. So just want to dab in a little bit more, just to make it dark here. And then um, with my smaller brush, I'll dab in a little bit of yellow. A bit more yellow. And then just tap my brush here and get a little bit more of that splat on. And I'm gonna leave that for now. Just let the colors run. I have a ton of water on here. There. And I could also splat a little bit from this brush, why not? There. And you know, if you get splatter, see now I got it on my reference photo, not so good. Um, if you want to uh, splatter, it's always good to uh, also splatter, you know, spray a little bit of water in if you don't want those real precise dots. And if you get splatter on some areas that where you didn't want it, you can just dab it up. And I'm just gonna wipe my table a little bit here. So there we go. Um, so there's that. I'm gonna just let that be for now. And let's see. Then we have this leaf. They're kind of skinny and long, which you can see here. Skinny and long leaves, so lots of those shapes. Got a little water in there. And now I'm gonna run some yellow. I'm gonna run it on the top side of the leaf more um, because that's going to be the uh, lightest part. And I'm gonna go in and get some of my Antwerp, maybe a little bit of my cobalt and get that on here. Get a darker underside. And now I'm using my number eight brush, but you know, you can use whatever brush is comfortable for you. That's what, it, what matters, not what size it is or what I use. And then rinse it out. I think I wanna get a little bit more of that yellow one. The minute I put a little bit of that yellow over the end with blue, it turns green. It's a very cool blue, it's more like turquoisey. And it really, I would say it wants to be, it wants really wants to be green. And I'm gonna let the colors do their thing. As you know, if you've taken classes with me or watched my videos, I'm a big fan of just letting the colors do, do their own thing. So I'm going to let that be for just a little bit. And then um, I think I need to get myself some more yellow over here. Spray on here and spray on there. And put some more yellow in here. And put some more yellow in here. And there we have it. And um, probably time to get my credit card out again. And maybe I'll scrape in a little bit here. And 
might scrape in a little bit here. When you scrape in while it's still uh, very wet, you get a very uh, dark, fine line. If you wait until it's almost dry, you can uh, sometimes scrape the pigment away and get some highlights. So it all depends on where in the process you do that. And actually, let's also uh, spray a little bit here just to get that to flow a little bit. Yeah. And now I got water sprayed into my flower. I don't want that. So I'm going to dab that up. There. And um, pretty soon we get to the flower. I want to get just the last couple of leaves here. So there's one that goes like this uh, behind the stem. So I'm going to take some of the water out of my brush. And now I'm just going to put some Antwerp blue with a little bit of the red in. So it's a very dark color. First, it's going to look kind of purpley, but that's OK. I want to neutralize this one a little bit, so especially behind the stem here. So I'm going to put that in first. A little bit on this there. I could actually put a little bit of that in here while I'm at it. There. It's going to spread by itself. A little bit here. All right. So I'm just going to let that be for a little bit. And uh, I have a couple more green, very, very light green stems. I think I probably need to go with my detail brush. That's the little stamens there. They're going to be almost yellow. So I'm just going to put yellow on for now. And they come out like this. And like this here. And goes under there. And then I'm going to put a tiny bit of the uh, end whip in. I think that was almost too much. Don't want it that green. So I'm going to put some yellow over it there. Dab it. If everything else fails, dab it. And a little bit more here. A little bit more there, a little bit more there. And pull it out. Here. There. So then we have those kind of going. And now it's probably time to grab, maybe I'll just take the number four brush. And I want to get some of that green on this leaf here. Before it dries, I want the colors to mix and mingle. There's that. And we'll let that dry and then see how it goes. Okay. And again, I think here I'm going to hold my hand over and then splatter a little bit. Let's get, let's get a, some wet paint and splatter just a little bit. There. And there is also some veins that go kind of like around. There. And we'll let that dry. And in the meantime, I think we can start on the actual flame lilies. Let's go with the easy one. So that's the front one, this front uh, petal. So now we're going to just wet it. A 
like that. So just put water inside. I don't know if you can see. It's very hard to get the light to pick that up. Um, in here is water. And now I'm just going to, it starts out yellow, almost greenish, actually. And I'm just going to paint that yellow up along the edges because that's where the yellow is. And because I wet it, not all the way out to the edges, but in the middle, it'll float into there. There's a little bit here. And it's almost a little bit green down here. So I'm going to put a little bit of that light green in that I have created with mainly transparent yellow. And then I'm going to go and get some of that clean, pretty thick quinacridone red on. And, oops, try not to get my hand in that wet area. I'm going to put a little bit up here and down the middle. And here I'm just going to let it like that. I'm just going to let it flow into the yellow by itself. So I have the red is a little bit thicker, so it doesn't flow quite as much. Of course, otherwise it would take over everything. And I don't want that. And it's darker down here. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit. I have a red here that I um, darkened with a little bit of the um, Antwerp blue. So I'm going to put a little bit in there to kind of get that little bit of shape on it. And I'm rinsing out my brush, making sure that it's clean. That red is staining, so there. And I'm going to put just a hint, just a hint, and get that droplet off, off the yellow on the tip of my brush and just clean up the edges. There. I like that. That looks good enough for me. And I'm going to try and hold it up so you can see it there. See that? There. All right. One down. A few more to go. Um, <clears throat> then this one is a good one to paint too. And that's this one. So we just painted this. And now we're going to paint that one. And we'll do the same method. Put some water inside the middle. A little bit more. And then we're going to get the yellow out on the edges. There's a lot of yellow right there. And there's also yellow on the inside here. We can see, so this is the inside, what I'm just painting now that we can see of this particular petal. And then this is the outside and it tucks under one of the other petals. Put a little bit more yellow on here and here. All right, and here's a lot of yellow. And there's actually also on that one is also a little bit of a greenish tint right down here at the bottom where it starts. It's a little bit of a greenish tint. So let's get that on there. And then we rinse out our brush. And then we take again this little bit thicker quinacridone red, roll our brush in it, dab, dab. And then we put that in the middle and follow the curve of this petal. There's a little hint on the inside. I don't know if I can get that in. Follow the petal and it'll just let it bleed into the yellow. And then we do the same thing as before. We take a little bit of that really dry, um, darker red that we created with putting a little bit of the Antwerp in, and let's get a couple of little strokes up like that. And also up here, under here is actually quite a bit darker. So I might just 
darken that up a little bit more. I'm just using that antwerp blue, but very little of it. And then just a little bit like that. And there is a little hint on the inside here. There, I think that's pretty good. And let's see, might put a little bit of thicker yellow on and just go in a couple of places. And then here is where it tucks under. All right, can you see that? Trying to hold it up so that it will. Yeah, that focus is not the best. Anyway, um, let's see, we can do this one here. That's this petal here. And that one also, we can see the inside and then we can see the top part of it, we can see the outside and then it dips under that one. Uh, so let's get a little bit of water on that petal. And there, I think I might just do it in two goes, so to speak. I wanna get a little bit of the graphite off here with my kneaded eraser. And um, I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here. I think I'll paint it in two goes. I think that might be easier. So, Again, we're going to start out with the yellow. There. And then we have to let it dry a little bit. We can also put the yellow edge on here on the outside. Can you see that? And then I'm going to put a little droplet there. I don't want that. Now, while that's um, drying a little bit, I think I can go in, since I didn't put water inside there, just those two yellow edges, I'm going to take a little bit of the uh, quinacridone red and then go in here and get that on before the yellow dries on me and it goes under there. So be a little careful. So I want the red to just kiss the, um, the yellow like that. And I will take a good photo of it and um, put it up for you to see. Um, so now I need to go in again. I'm using my brush number four and very thick paint as you can see out here. See it doesn't move much and I roll my brush in it and get a nice tip because now I want to get in and get on this side of the petal. That's the inside we can see. Goes down to here. And that will also be quite a bit darker. So I'm not even rinsing out my brush. I'm just going into this darker red I have here. And I want to get some of that in here. It's going to be like on the shadow side kind of of the little petal here. There. Even a little bit darker maybe. Push it. There. That's good. Down here also. There we go. So then we got that. go. And then in here, I think this is dry enough. Yeah. Again, I'm gonna, is it dry? Yeah. I'm going to see if I can get a little bit of those pencil lines out. It's just my own little obsession. There's a lot of you know. 
You don't have to do that. And you know, we, this is also a painting we could totally, um, if we need to, we can put a little bit of, um, you know, um, uh, white gel pen on if we need some highlights, or we can also use our uh, black uh, fine liners uh, to finish it off if we need to. So there is a petal here, and we can just see a little bit of it going behind here. Yeah, again, I really want that patch line off there. Um, here, we can, oops, way too much water. We can put a little bit of water on here. I'm going to, need to dab it off because I've got way too much on. Um, now I have to let it dry a little bit. In the meantime, let's do um, let's do these um, stamens here. They are orange, so I'm going to create a little orange out here, just a little bit. <coughs> Sorry. Got a little tickle. So these little stamens here, they're orange. So we can put those on now while we wait for this area that I messed up with the water to dry. There. That's super easy. And I think it does make it start looking a little bit more like what we're going for. So we have that little area in there. And now I got some yellow on my brush. And I'm just gonna go in and that comes down like here, like that. And uh, joins the rest down here. And it's actually a little bit darker um, right down here because it goes behind that front, it goes behind, if you look at this one here, see, it's this little part I'm painting. And I need to put a little bit of the red inside. You can see a little bit of red, but it doesn't have much red. It has a little bit right here. And it just kind of goes down like that. And again, probably we should put a little bit of a dark red right up here. Just like that. That's what I painted. And that um, petal comes out here, and that's a very small area. So I'm not going to wet it. The edge is yellow. So I'm going to take some yellow, and I'm not going to have it too, too wet. So the edge is yellow. This edge here is yellow. And it comes kind of like that. And then the inside is red. And again, want to have a little bit of a darker red. And it would be nice if I could get it to flow together a little bit with that yellow. Might have had it too dry for that, but we can make that happen. Comes in like this, right like that. And then there'll be a little bit more darkness. So I'm going to go in again and put that in. And I know a lot of times I like to use my permanent magenta to darken my reds, but I feel that in this case, it's better to use the Antwerp because I don't really want it to look... Um, that that um, permanent magenta is not really the right color for what I have going on here. All right, now there'll be some little fixes here and there if we need to. I don't even know if we need to once we get to it. We'll see. Little places where we need to put more darkness in, obviously. Okay, so then we can also paint the other inside petal we can see here. That's this one. And let's see. A little bit of water, not too much because I don't want to lose control. Inside the middle here, and the middle is basically yellow. 
at the bottom and with a little bit of that green, very light green. So it goes like this and then it goes up here like that. And there is actually a little tiny sliver of the background in between. Goes down like here. And then I'm gonna run in a little bit of that light, light green. Of course we see that. And then we are going to, I'm going to lift, have to lift out a little bit of that yellow that's in the middle there. And then I'm going to get some of that quinacridone red in here. It's basically red around there. And let's get that in while hopefully things will still flow out a little bit like that. And I want to have it a little darker again because it's, it has a little bit of shadow, I think, back there. And I need it, I need it darker to push up the other parts. There. Hope you can see that. And even though it's so fuzzy, it's really annoying. I'll have to wear. Uh, learn more about how to uh, do that. And here is a little bit of green I can see. So I'm just going to put it in now. That's right there. There's a little green something behind. So I like to put that in. And put a little more shadow on right there. And right here on that green since I had the green on just to darken it a little bit. All right, guys, we're just moving right along. Now down here, maybe I shouldn't tackle that right now. I should probably just uh, stick to what I hear. There's, so here is another top of a petal we can see inside and then the outside of it there. So let's paint that. And there is some yellow going like this, like that. So I'm putting that in pretty concentrated and still quite wet. And then right away, I need to put in the red underneath. And if it runs in a little bit, I would be a happy camper like that. And then it kind of goes up like that, like that. It comes from there, it's the outside. And there also needs to be a little bit darker because it's the outside and also a little darker underneath here. Goes like this, like there. And then I think I need to get a little bit of the yellow one. Just bring a little bit of yellow there and a hint right there. And there's a little, there's a little spot in between that's actually um, the background. There we have that. And then we have that. And then we have this petal and then there's one more petal there where we can see a little tiny bit there's something really dark we're going to paint that last in here that's the back side of this petal that comes up so we already got that then we need to have this here and down here is yellow now we're getting to the kind of more convoluted 
shapes here. That was yellow. And then inside is red, quite dark red. I think I might have to get a little bit more of my quinacridone red. I'm just waiting a little bit while this yellow dries a little bit. It comes down like that. There. And then there's also some red that comes down here. I'm going to paint that. And it goes underneath that one, so it needs to be darker. And so I need to uh, get some of that real dark in. Let's see. I'm just dabbing around, messing up all my colors, but oh well. Here needs to be really dark because it goes under there. And those real darks we can get in in the second go around. And then in here is also a really dark area. I need to pick up a little bit here. I can there. All right. Uh, I'm going to let that top part of it just dry a little bit. And then in the meantime, there is a little, very dark green little thingamajig underneath where all those stamens, I think they kind of go, they're right above it. So let's see if we can get those in, that little piece in, that would be good. So that's, I can take some of that uh, uh, dirtied up a little bit, Antwerp, and make a really dark green here. And we're gonna use Let's see, are we going around in the puddles until we find the right color? So there it's it's dark with Antwerp and transparent yellow, and then I you know put a little bit of that dirty red in to make it really, really dark. And it's really dark around here. And some little areas like this that are really, really dark. So I want it. Um, to be a dark shape behind these stamens. And now I get a good opportunity to clean up this front stamen that got a little too thick. And then get a little bit lighter right there. There we have it. Remember I said it was going to be a loose painting. Ha! I don't know how loose this is. Can you see that? Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And then I have that last little piece up here. So I'm going to try and just get a little bit of a yellow on there. And then there's going to be a super dark kind of red in here. There. Dark in here a little bit. Dark in here a little bit. Dark in here a little bit. And get that smudged out a little bit more. This area, this little area needs to be really dark. So I'm just dabbing in. And then I have a couple of white edges here. Just want to get a little bit of yellow on. A little bit of yellow on there. There. And a little bit more yellow on there. There. And now we need to go in with 
some darker red. And it's going to be a little darker right there. And it's going to be a little darker there. So I'm just getting that darkness. Pull that out. There's that. And there's one other place where I feel I needed more darkness. That's right here. Just like a stroke down like that so we can kind of see that goes down. There. And then I think it's time to um, just wrap this up. There's still some fine tuning that needs to happen, but I think what I want to do is I want to spray down here around the flower. Try and keep the flower. Maybe I'll just do, I don't know if I can, maybe do like this. Kind of protect my flower. And then I want to splatter. So I'm going to use some of my yellow and green. And Darker green, whoops. A little bit of yellow. And I also want to splatter some of that more muted red. Hopefully I don't get it on my lens there. And let's see here. Got a little drop on there. I don't really want that. And then I'm again, I'm holding my hand over my flower and now I'm going to spray out these splatters because I don't want them too bright or anything or too precise. There. And I think things are pretty much dry and I think I might just go in with Just a little bit of my gel pen. There's, you know, I kind of lost a couple of those little highlights here. Just put them in. That goes like that. That. There. Okay, and I think I'm going to call this do demo done. And uh, I hope that you'll try it out. As I said earlier, I'm going to put up the um, tracing for you um, on, uh, on my... Uh, my uh, website, uh, beautyonlocation.com. And then uh, you can uh, try it out yourself. And if you wanted to do um, a background like this, 
with the plastic wrap that works really well for this type of uh, painting I find and otherwise you can do like a, what I did here and I can just see I need some splatter this area is splatterless don't want that there we have it and then I'm just going to dab it a little bit Especially in the flower, but there we have that. Okay, so I think it turned out pretty okay. Um, and I'll probably be uh, painting this one more than once. I'm going to take a photo of it the way it is here. And then I feel very, very much inclined to go in and do maybe a little bit of line work on it. So, so um, I can compare. And um, I will put that up on my... Um, Facebook, and I'm going to put it up on Instagram also. And uh, maybe I'll take um, a couple of pictures and put it on my uh, on my um, website as well. So thank you so much for your um, support. And I hope everybody stays safe and sane. And, you know, painting is one of the best ways to cope in times uh, like these stressful times. Um, don't watch the news all day long. Just, you know, keep, keep informed, but don't obsess. Uh, and take this as uh, Mother Nature's uh, demand for a little uh, break um, where we can reflect and get to some of all those things I'm sure all of us have that uh, we want to get to when we have time. Well, folks, we have time. So uh, happy painting. Stay positive. Stay healthy and safe. Do your exercises. Go out for a walk um, and uh, eat healthy and um, call your friends and family um, and uh, stay in touch that way. And luckily, we live in an age where we have this high tech technology that can now come in as a blessing uh, where we can stay in touch, even though we have to maybe have some social distancing. So. I'll be back soon and um, wish you all the best. And thanks again for showing up here. And I will get it on my YouTube channel so that you can watch it um, again. And those that weren't here, they can watch it after the fact. See you later. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me uh, more visible and other people can find me. So thanks for that. And a thumbs up is always nice. Talk to you later. See you later. And now we'll end the stream.